No matter how busy Congressman Lewis was, he always had time for young people. And more than nine years ago, 11 Alive arranged for some of our employees' children to meet and learn from Lewis. In this poignant exchange, 10-year-old Paris Whitney asked the congressman for a personal account of Bloody Sunday in Selma, Alabama. Tell me, when you look at this picture, how do you feel? When, when I look at that picture, I, I feel like we're standing at, uh, at a point uh, of no return. We could not turn back. So we had been planted there by some force, maybe by history itself, but we couldn't turn back. We had to do it. Because people in, in Selma, Alabama, in other parts of the state, other parts of the American South could not register to vote simply because of the color of their skin. When we were marching from Selma to Montgomery and we crossed the bridge, I was walking beside a young man by the name of Jose Williams. And as we walked to the highest point on that bridge, down below we saw a sea of blue Alabama State Troopers. And we kept walking. We came within a hearing distance of the state troopers. And a man said, this is an unlawful march. You have to disperse your orders to disperse, go home, or go to your church. This march will not continue. And Jose said, Major, give us a moment to kneel and pray. And the Major said, Troopers, advance. They started pushing us and beating us. I was hit in the head by a state trooper with a knife stick and was knocked down and left unconscious. All these years later, I don't recall, I made it back across that bridge, through the streets of Selma, back to that little church. But I do recall being back at the church. I think someone probably literally carried me back to the church. And they asked me to say something to the audience. There were more than 2,000 people on outside trying to get in. The church was full. And I stood up and said something like, I don't understand it. How President Johnson can send troops to Vietnam, but can I send troops to Selma, Alabama? to protect people who only desires to register to vote. The next thing I knew, I'd been admitted to a local hospital in Selma. You're a very brave man. Well, I'm not sure whether I was brave or not. I just tried to do what I thought was right and uh, tried to be part of an effort to make our country different and make it possible for all of our citizens to become registered voters. May I have a hug? Yes, yes, Bonnie. Thank you so much. John's tough, but he's a little, he's the kind of little dude. You would not know that that young man could awaken a nation. And, 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 and that's an example of the power that we each have.